Shit, bitch, fucking ass and black black, motherfucker. You're cordially invited, bitch! How are you doing, Dark Side of Two? Uh, how are you doing, everyone? Uh, this is Dark Side of Two K Seven, aka Side of Sky Saver, sir. And uh, holy shite, Rose McGowan. Oof, boy, man. Rose McGowan is a perfect example of hell has no fury like a woman's scorn. And boy, was this scorn! <laughs> you think the, do you think the uh, CNN? Do you think the whole DNC thing that happened this week was gonna tank, man? What the ratings were tanking like a motherfucker was bad enough? Yeah, she decided to come in in there. Oh, my dog bomb shady! About to get his seventh ring. He's he he's the goat. He's true coat. Sorry. Anyway, anyway, so Rose McGowan decided to uh, hop onto Twitter and decided to roast um the Joe Biden and the Democrats. Uh, calling them monsters and thwas. Now, I'm reading this here on Newsweek, and it's written by Emma Nolan. <coughs> and I'm trying to be professional as much, but, uh, you know. Rosa Gallen has last out against uh, Joe Biden and the Democrats, just as Biden accepted the, pres the Democratic presidential uh, nominee this week. Talking on Twitter, the actress and Me Too activist referred to the former vice president as the season of darkness. She tweeted with, you are the season of darkness. At Joe Biden and the DNC, you are monsters. You are frauds. You are a lie. You see, Rose McGowan was referring to the Biden's acceptance speech during the final night of the Democratic National Convention, where he promised to be an ally of the light and not the darkness and told Americans united we can and overcome. Later addressing the Democrats in general, McGowan, McGowan rallied against the parenting shortcomings and failures of the Democrats to stop a number of social issues like systemic racism and police brutality while in, when in office. She wrote, and I quote, <clears throat> What have the Democrats done to solve anything? Help the poor? No. Help black and brown people? No. Stop police brutality? No. Help single mothers? No. Help children? No. You have to achieve nothing. Nothing. Why did people vote Trump? Why did people vote Trump? Because of you motherfuckers. Whoo boy. Yeah. Rose McGowan is one of the few high profile celebrities to call out Biden over the sexual assault allegations brought on by his former staffer Tara Reid. The allegation that Biden is denies. The first tirade against Joe Biden is not the first time the actress has blasted the Democrats, but the 46-year-old has a long history of attacking President Trump as well. Well, yeah. There was here is a roundup of reviews on both the Democratic Party and the GOP. It is be fun. Is Rose McGowan a Democrat? In April, the Charm Star demanded Biden end his presidential bid and also deemed the Democratic Party as a cult. Despite posting a tear for selfie, McGowan says she was once a proud Democrat. I would have died for this damn country and its ideas. I was raised to be a proud Democrat. When my youngest brother graduated as a fighter pilot at the Air Force Academy, I wore the Vote John Kerry pin. Lol. Got into a verbal accusation with big men who were mad I was a Democrat, she wrote. I thought democracy meant I had a right to choose those who line up with my value systems. But... What if there's no one? Now I know too much. I feel, and I feel really quite a sense of loss tonight. She then went on to say, this is deeper than a cover-up. And I am, am sad because there's death around all corners and shadows in the, in the d daytime. It hurts. Now I know too much and I feel really quite a sense of loss. Now, that was she said when she was a DNC. Now, where, now she was a Republican. Well, she did have her feverish criticism with Trump. I mean, in 2016, she passed the press out an open letter, which she also addressed to the Murdochs. She wrote, at the time, she wrote, at the time, living with your daily reign of terror cancer and, and its ter terror cancer is something we are unwilling to do for n another minute. I do not want to live my life this way. I am a proud American and a global citizen who 
head whose head is bowed to her knees and because she is sick it every day. Because of you, it is not most of America who to, should be saved. But it is you for propagating the propaganda. It's already Mugawa tweets that she was a registered Republican before backtracking and saying the tweet was a bet. See, in an episode of Shut Up Ivan podcast, the Evan Ross, with Evan Ross cast, seems to say it was also to shut down her conservative critics. She said, in my mind at the time, I was like, oh, I was just going to blow them. I'll be like, I'm a Republican. What, what are you going to say to me now? I'm just, am I still a stofe? Am I still a libtard idiot? You know what I mean? McGowan's time against Biden came as this, as she this week accused at director and screenwriter Alex Payne of sexually assaulting her when she was 15. She wrote Twitter, Alex Payne, you sat me down and play a softcore porn movie you directed for Showtime under a different name. I still remember your apartment at Silver Lake. You are very well endowed. You left me on a street corner afterwards. I was 15. Payne had... Payne has yet to respond to this public accusation. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I mean... Rose got to kind of be a little, uh, you know, out there. And I'm being, you know, polite on that one. But but I think the fact still says that um, she was... That she really called out the... Uh, not only Joe Biden, but also the DNC. And let's just say that her Twitter mentions are not really, I mean, people in her Twitter blog, which he made that, weren't really too, weren't really 100% proud of that. Because they were salty that uh, someone actually go out and call out, um, um, call, call out uh, Joe Biden. I mean, after all, I mean, and, and that's no surprise. I mean, I'm not really surprised on that one, because here's the thing. The thing was that people were pissed off about was that that she was pissed off about is that you know Tara Reid's um was hitting was coming up with Joe Biden with the sexual accusations of her when she was working as a staff, and mind you the Demo- everyone was saying that uh, during the whole Me Too thing is that we should believe all women yeah. Now, when it came to Tara Reid, everyone d- kind of dismissed her claim or saying that, oh, she probably lied. I mean, heck, the news media was coming out and trying to bury her, saying that she that she's making a false accusation that which could carry some jail time. And the be- oh, 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 it gets even be- oh, it gets even better. The the uh, the law firm that was that was signing for um the law firm that was actually was uh, doing the whole who. Offer legal advice for uh, me too, me too cases. They should be denied her, um, deny her, ch- her claim. So basically, everybody knew what the fuck was up. Me too was actually was used as a political tool to go to go after people that people on the left de- de- don't like, and it shows. I already know. I already know that uh, Me Too was was full of shit. No, and that and that Terry thing, that just that just said it best. That is said it said it best. And yeah, like I said, what she said, she what she said, she ain't trying to do. I mean, Democrats have been every time when Democrats get into the office, man, they never do any they never do anything uh, for the constituents. It's like. And I actually was, and I actually questioned on these guys too. Like I said, okay, how many? Every time when we, when people vote Democrat, we never hear from them for four fucking years. But when it, t- but after four fear, when they do come back, it's when they, it's when it's time to vote. It's time to want them to get reelected. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm going to say this right off the bat. This is, this whole party is is a fucking, is a fucking mess. And, I, and, and they're putting, and they're taking their, and they're pinning their fucking hopes and chance and dream and their hopes and chances on Joe fucking Biden. Um, this ain't it. This ain't it. And and I didn't even watch the DNC because I know there was gonna be so much. It's gonna be nothing but f- fucking bullshit and virtue signaling. 
So yeah, I'm I was the smart one. I didn't even watch that shit. Thank God I didn't. But I just want to put this out here. I'm gonna put this out here. Just want to let you know before I tend to forget. Next video, the next video I'm gonna post up is gonna be my uh video um, of my game two reaction of of the Los Angeles Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers game. Trust me. I already saw, I'm, I already saw some of the some of the game. Didn't even bother to watch it, but I watched it anyway to know what the fuck was up. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot, a lot, oh, a lot uh, to, to talk about. But I would like to hear from what you have to say. So as always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, you know, all that other stuff. Share with your friends, share with your neighbors, and everything. <laughs> Until next time, this is Dark Shadow 2K7, aka Silent Sky System. Please be safe and, you know, always wear a mask. God bless. <laughs>